Hello, Dirty Reality. This is RPM speaking, the ECW owner of Dirty Reality. And the next pay per view after Genesis, I believe, is ECW Buried the Legal 2013. And I have five matches already planned. Already. Five. Count them one, two, three, four, five. Main event Daniel Williams. You choose whoever you want to face because it's always a five star match. However, I want to see a first. You've heard of a three stages of hell match, and I want to see a five stages of hell match. Make it tables, hardcore, steel cage, hell in the cell, then Ravis Cage of Death, which just puts a lockdown cage on top of it and replaces the ropes with barbed wire, and you know how it looks. Now, the co-main event for the ECW Bay Illegal is going to feature six people. Because all these people have earned their, their shots. Some of them have been overlooked for too long. And they deserve a shot at the ECW title. It's going to be in the Chamber of Doom match. Which is basically an elimination chamber match. And in the elimination chamber match, every time someone comes out, as long as the switch that deals with electricity is on increases the votes by about it increases it every single time to where the last time is a very shocking result when all six people are in the ring now the six people are oh yeah and on top of each pod there is going to be a steel box with weapons in it so Here's the six participants. Zach G. Elijah Burke. Luis Diaz. Phil Massey. Joey Nightshade McKenna. And me. Now, at Genesis, there's going to be a triple threat match. Tyler Mullins versus Phil Massey versus Nathaniel Williams in Extreme Rules match for the ECW Television Championship. Now, whoever wins that match is going on to barely legal to face an opponent of my choosing that will be decided next Tuesday. Did no, this Tuesday coming up at the at the ECW house show or the ECW show. Now. The women's championship is going to be a triple threat match. It's going to feature Chevron Riley and Sammy Love. They're going to take on someone who's been holding the title for at least two months. If it's not two months, maybe it's a month. I'm not sure. I lost track. But it's a Ash Allegra. And it's going to be whatever, whatever match. I haven't decided what match it is yet. But knowing me, it's probably going to be a hardcore match. You know, it's going to be a hardcore match. And the final match is going to is going to be a Flaming Tables Elimination Tag Team Match. It's going to be me and Chris Johnson, a.k.a. the Jersey Vipers. And we're going to take on Edge and Lucas Wolf for the ECW Tag Team Championship. Now, guess what? There's, there's going to be more matches to be added on to this match card because there's already five matches. The more I see, the more matches get put on to this match card. I worked hard on this match card. I'm making sure that this doesn't screw up. So, this is ECW owner, RPM speaking. Have a hardcore day.